I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching the second video of OCT series. So time domain is now rarely used. So you will be given either this spectral domain OCT printout or swept source OCT printout. It should be either gray like this black and white or pseudo colored with red color showing hyper reflectivity blue and black hypo reflectivity and green intermediate reflectivity now this is an oct of the macula the printout now look at which side the nerve fiber layer beneath the internal limiting membrane is thick like here clearly on the right side the nerve fiber layer is thick so that's the OCT of the right eye because disc is on that side and now I am showing you the swept source OCT gray color black and white printout and here also the optic disc is on the right side so it is the right eye OCT macula of the sweat source you can see the disc the depression of the disc so after the determination of the eye like this is the right eye OCT again comes to the hypo reflective pockets in the vitreous superiorly these are the liquefied vitreous where the hypo reflective line just above the internal limiting membrane is posterior highlight and then narrow space is retro highlight space now in the inner retinal layers the hypo reflective areas are the inner and outer nuclear layers whereas the hyper reflective areas are exons and dendrites of plexiform layers you should know that so beneath the internal limiting membrane hyporeflective layer in this swept source OCT is ganglion cell layer. Then the more hyperreflective layer is inner plexiform layer. Underneath it is hyporeflective inner nuclear layer, then the outer plexiform layer at the fovea these above mentioned layers are absent and outer nuclear layer is only present as a hyporeflective layer but thickest here as compared to periphery beneath it is a very thin hyperreflective line like we have zoomed it now that thin line is external limiting membrane Below it is hyporeflective myoid zone consists of inner segments of the photoreceptors. Beneath it is hyperreflective line which depicts the most sensitive ISOS junction, inner segment, outer segment, segment or ellipsoid zone. Now stretching of it for long can cause profound visual loss at the fovea. There is hyporeflective pocket beneath the ISOS junction that contains the outer segments of cones. Beneath that is a very hyperreflective area of retinal pigment epithelium and Brooks membrane. Choride, as we discussed earlier, is better visualized in swept source OCT beneath the RP Brooks membrane is choriocapillaris and you can easily appreciate the lumens of the large choroidal vessels here these are the choroidal vessels you can see the round lumens of the choroid vessel and underneath these large vessels sclera is clearly visible now here these are the still this is the sclera so that's how normal OCT macula looks like and in the next video, we will discuss further about the OCT macula. Thank you.